All right, y'all, we are back with another fresh topic again. I believe you all to stay tuned at the end of this very video, ladies and gentlemen. This video right here is going to be a Netflix series. So, you might want to get your snacks. Get whatever you need to get. Whatever you watch me on your tablet, your phone, or your TV on the wall, or whatever you have right now. You may be at home, may be at work watching, watching me or listening to me. But make sure... You stay tuned at the end of this very video, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. Now, before I, excuse me, <coughs> before I talk my junk and before I lay the smack down on this video, <laughs> I just want to say this. Folks, let me tell you something. If you know you are destined for greatness, don't ever let nobody discourage you or talk you about your dreams. People will try their very best to talk you about your dreams because they ain't got no dreams. Do you understand me? People who don't have any courage or confidence will try to talk you about your vision because they ain't got no vision in them. That's why right. be careful. I'm saying to you, be careful who you share your vision to. Be careful who you tell your blessings to. Everybody don't want to see you act happy out here. Keep your greatness to yourself. And let God do the rest. But yeah, folks, with that being said, as you're coming in, let's not forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this video. And like I said, don't touch that dial. Stay tuned at the very end of this video. And turn your notification bell on as well. Now, this topic right here, we are finna talk about eight signs that you are tested for greatness. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I am talking definitely to you. You are destined for greatness. Yes, you are. But with that being said, let's get right into it. This video right here, I got me some notes. So I hope you are ready for this. Because I'm sure I am ready. But yeah, let's get started. Number one, being normal makes your skin crawl. I can't relate to that. When you are destined for greatness, being normal is not in your vocabulary. Trying to fit in with the crowd, it does not help you get to the vision or help you achieve greatness in life. You see, when other people hang out in a bunch of crowds, they don't get nowhere in life. They are leading to a path of destruction, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you all that right now. I am telling you. Being normal is not the answer. Being different is the answer. If they want to call you weird, hey, being weird is the answer as well. But this is why I'm telling you, being normal will make your skin freaking crawl. It's not for you. Continue to be different. Screw what these people say. If you destined for greatness, don't be normal and try to sit up here and try to act normal and try to fit in with the crowd. Because the crowd ain't got nothing going on with their lives. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Never try to fit in where God made you to stand out. Y'all been chosen since birth. So why you want to sit here and try to fit in with the crowd? The crowd ain't nothing but a bunch of losers. 100% capital F facts on that. They ain't nothing but a bunch of losers. Another but a willow color sugars and wannabes and copycats. Don't ever try to fit in. And don't ever try to be normal. Normal is not a vocabulary. Different is. Remember that. Sign number two. People get jealous or envious of you. Lord have mercy. Now y'all know. When you're destined for greatness. You're going to have a lot of haters. When I say a lot of haters. But not a lot, a lot, a lot of haters. But you're going to have a few quite a people. Idiots. Dummies. It's trying to go sit up here and throw shade on you because they see the greatness inside of you. And ain't your clothes, and ain't what you were, and ain't the cologne or the perfume you were, ladies and gentlemen. It is none of that. It's the spirit in you, aka greatness. These people see greatness inside of you. They even saw when you was a little bit of child. When you was a boy or girl. When you was in school in elementary, pre-K, four or five years old. They saw greatness inside of you. 
the teachers from elementary to high school or even college, excuse me, saw the potential inside of you. And this is why so many people were throwing shade at you. Do you understand? This is why people were treating you poorly. You couldn't understand back then. Why they treat me this type of way? But now you know because all your life people have been jealous of you because they saw the capital G greatness inside of you, y'all. It does not take a rocket science to um, figure this stuff out. When people throwing shade at you and jealous of you because they see you as a winner, which you are, and they see themselves as a loser. So they want to throw their little funky loser ways out into you and make you want to feel bad. Because they feeling all messed up and stinky and funky. You let people be them. And they try to throw shit at you, block it. Spiritually block it. I mean, excuse me. Spiritually block it. Cut it. Do what you got to do. But whatever you do, don't sit up here and try to argue with these people. They're trying to pick a fight out of you because they are jealous. Satan is trying to get inside these. Well, he already did with some people, but he would jump inside of anybody. Trying to make you lose your focus. Trying to make you lose your mind out here. Make you want to fight. Cuss people out. Put you behind bars or worse. People are jealous and envious of y'all. Y'all be careful. Who you telling your stuff to? Back to sign number one. Be very careful. Life is not a video game. This ain't no dog on PlayStation 2, 3, or 4, or 5. This ain't no Xbox 360 or a GameCube or Nintendo, none of that. This is real life stuff right here. This ain't no freaking video game. You only get one life, no restart button, none whatsoever. So whoever tries to serve you, let's get away from them. Remove yourself away from them. Get away from these people. And get around people that want to see you in. Because jealousy and envy is a terrible disease. And y'all don't want that. Trust me. You don't want it. Sign number three. People look up to you. When you're destined for greatness, People starting to look up to you. People start calling you a role model. People start coming up to you and asking you for advice. They start asking you questions. They want to know, how such and such go? Do you know about such and such? Can you help me with such and such? That lets you know right that you're on the right path, ladies and gentlemen. When people are looking up to you, and they asking you questions, or they watching your YouTube channel, and they like your content you're putting out, and they personally hit you up on your email or whatnot. And they tell you, I am a fan of your work. I am a fan of such and such. That lets you know, right? That you are on the right path. Keep up the good work. People is watching you all over the states. Strangers that you don't even know yet. That want to meet you. They impressed by your work. People are calling you role model. They calling you this. They calling you that. But at the same time, you're not letting it get to your head. You're keeping it humble. With a capital H. When people look up to you, you are doing something very, very terrific out here. And the world needs more of that, ladies and gentlemen. The world needs more joy, more loving, more motivational. Do you understand me? People need this out here. People are hurt and they are suffering. They need some positivity in their world. They need some sunlight. People are going through darkness. They're going through tough times right now. You don't know what somebody going through till they watch you or listen to your podcast or whatever you're doing. If you sing or rap, whatever you're doing, you're putting positive messages out there. People are going to look up to you, whether you like it or not. And these same people are going to be your fans. So, warning, people looking up to you. Be careful what you put out there into the universe. People and even little kids is looking up to you, ladies and gentlemen. But whoever watching this video, I know y'all going to do the right thing. Trust me. Y'all going to do the right thing because people are looking up to you. Side number four, you love to learn. I have said this in one of my videos before. Every day we learn. I don't care how old you are. You learn something new every freaking day. Learning is like we back in school again. But some of the stuff that we had to learn and still learning they did not teach us this in school. Not in middle school, junior high, or middle school, or high school, college even. They ain't teach us none of this stuff. 
We had to learn this stuff on our own. And guess what? We're going to continue to learn through life. Because life got a lot of lessons. And I don't care how old you are. You're still learning. You may be an OG, but guess what? we still learning. I mean, not we, but the OGs, they still learning as well. The moment when you stop learning is when God pick up that phone and say, it's time for you to come home. That's the day you stop learning. But long as you here on God's green earth, you breathing, you breathing out oxygen to your, to your mouth. Excuse me. You breathing air through your lungs. You still gonna continue to learn out here. Every day we learning. Even animals, they learning. Babies, kids, like kids of course, teenagers, young adults, everybody out here is learning something. Whatever it is that you are studying, you're learning. Whatever it is that you are looking up, you're doing your research on something. You are learning and you love to learn. And you don't have no problem with learning. Learning is a good thing, ladies and gentlemen, by the way. They may call you a bookworm or a nerd or, or they may call you a Steve Urkel. But guess what? You love to learn. And guess what? While you're learning and reading books, you got knowledge. And guess what? Knowledge is power. You got so much power. You got so much knowledge. You love to learn. Not like to learn. You love to learn. Even when you was in school, this is for you. Whoever loves school, because some of us hated school. But if you love the school, you love to learn. Trust and believe me. That sign is for you. You love to learn. It ain't no shame of learning anything. Because we learn something new every day. Alright? Now, sign number five. You love to help people. Now, I want to say something about this. You can't help everybody all the time, but people that got a kind heart, a kind soul, those are the type of people that would love to be helped, and you don't mind helping them. The world needs help. Look at the world we're living in today. And people like me and you, we love to help people. But some people refuse to help. I mean, excuse me. Some people don't even want to help. How can you help somebody that don't want to help themselves? But the people that want to be helped, you don't mind helping them because they will sit there and listen to you. While you sit there and try to school them on certain things. And by the end of the lesson or the set, um, excuse me, at the end of the session, they will literally tell you right there and there, thank you for teaching me such and such. I appreciate you. Whatever it is that was school, mentor, or whatever it is. Y'all like to learn. I mean, excuse me. Y'all like to help people. And ain't nothing wrong with helping people. None whatsoever. Because that's what the world needs today. There's so much negativity out here. So much. It's too much of it. A lot of people out here is suffering. They want the help. But some people choose to stay in that darkness. So you can't help them type of people. Help out the people that want a way out. Help the people that need to be saved. Help people. That say, I need help. Can you help me? Or they want to learn something new. That's also helping people. Guiding people through life. You don't know people might be going through depression. Suicidal thoughts. You don't know. Unaliving thoughts, excuse me. You don't know what people are going through these days. Drug abuse. You name it. Demons, battles. If they want to the help and they reach out for you to help, you'll be kind enough to help people. But if people don't want to be helped, leave them be. <coughs> Excuse me. But people like me and you, we love to help people. Maybe we're going to continue to help people regardless. We don't care how ugly the word may seem. we still going to help people that want to be helped. Sign number six, you embrace change. Now, this one's a tough one for some people out here. Some people out here don't want to change in life. They don't want to change, none whatsoever, because change scares people. Change intimidates people. It intimidates the living daylights out of people right now. I'm telling you all right now, change will make people stay in their comfort zone. Change will make people stay in their hometown. Change will make people stay at that nine to five for so many years. But when it comes down to you, you don't mind changing. You embraced it. You're not scared of change. You're like, okay, let's do it then. 
You be ready to switch it up. You don't want to stay on the same old thing three, four, five, or ten some years. You don't want to do that. Or stay in the same area for the rest of your life. Your mom and your daddy, your grandpa, grandma, they may have done that, but you ain't got to do that. You willing to make a change. You are willing to do something about this generational curse, which means you are embracing to make some changes in your family lives. Whatever they believe in you or not, you still got the guts to make that change. And you ain't going to let nobody or anything stop you from getting to that change or becoming a change. Because the world today, it needs a change. And that's why God put you here on this earth. So you can embrace the change and share it out there with the people in the world. People need to hear your voice. They need your gift. They need your healing. They need your motivation in man. Miss Lady, they need it. All my kings and queens out there, if you're going through some changes in life, embrace it. Do not fall back or, how can I say this? Do not fall back. Do not fall. Don't do none of that. That's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to walk away from change. Don't you change for nobody or anything. If they can't accept it, they can get the heck on somewhere. But you don't mind embracing changes. You really don't. Because change is a good thing. Back in 2008, Obama even said to himself, it's time for a change. And I'm pretty sure the ones who, who was in middle school at the time, or high school, they remember when Barack Obama became president. Back in 2008, I remember that year, because I was in the eighth grade when that happened, when Barack Obama became the president of the United States. He said something that I'll never, ever forget. It's time for a change. And each and every last one of you, some of you, have embraced that change. Now, you got some people out here, they don't want to change, but that's on them. But I'm talking to you, directly to you. You don't mind embracing changes because you want to change something in life. You want to change your life, upgrade your life, and change other people's lives. Change is a good thing. Remember that. Sign number seven. You have loads of brilliant ideas. Listen. So many of you got so many ideas. It's not even funny. Like I'm being really serious right now. It's not even that funny. When you got so many ideas, you start to overwhelm yourself. Because you don't know, should I put this out yet? Or this, or this, or this? Because you got so many ideas built up inside your head. You got so many ideas you want to put out there to the world. You don't know where to start. You're so excited. But that's a good thing because guess what? You are creative. And being creative means you willing to do something. But when you had these ideas, I just want to say this too. Never share your ideas to anybody. Because somebody out there will try to steal your idea and try to say it's theirs. Just like the music business. Some people sample other people's music and don't give the other person credit. Or they be in a studio session with them. And they hear something that click inside their head. And they be like, I'm going to steal that from them. Mm -hmm, but I ain't going to give them credit. That's what I'm telling you all. Whatever you come up with, some brilliant ideas or topics, keep it to yourself. Because you got some people out here or this straight up diving thieves out here. And they want to say, I thank this person for this and this. They want to take the whole credit for themselves. You got people that stealing other people's topics. Stealing people's flows, lyrics, you name it. You got some people out here that's a bunch of thieves. That's what I'm telling you all. If you got some brilliant ideas, keep them to yourself. And when God put them ideas to yourself, I mean, when he put them ideas inside of this, don't tell nobody. Keep it to your doggone self. Because everybody, let me tell you something, everybody ain't got the same brain you got. Some people's mindset is so messed up on drugs and alcohol that when they hear somebody with a good heart and good, clean, fresh mind like yours, and they heard your ideas and their thoughts that you had shared out to the world, and you share it to them, trust and believe me, they're going to steal it. 
You don't think so? Try and see what's going to happen. But God forbid that. But I'm telling you all right now. Don't share your brilliant ideas with nobody out here. I ain't saying be cold hearted or hard. It's, it's okay to share, but be careful who you're sharing it with. Because like, like I said, it's a bunch of these out here. But each and every last one of you is so smart. Y'all could come up with some brilliant, brilliant ideas that can get you the bag. That money, we talking about that moolah. Do you understand me? That's why I'm telling you all right now. Excuse me. Be careful who you share your ideas to. And be careful who you tell your stuff to. Keep your brilliant ideas to yourself. Never tell nobody what you got going on between you and God. Whatever you and God got going on or playing through, keep it between you and him. All right? Side number eight. People will try to discourage you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now, this one right here is a crying shame. You got so many people out here trying to discourage others because they see them going to a path that they wish that they was on when they were your age. Or they wish they had that type of confidence or that personality that you have. You may got a smooth personality. Your, pers your personality might be up the roof. And this person will try to spread lies on you. Try to talk you in your head. Try to say, ain't nobody in this hometown ever became successful. You don't know. You might not ever make it. It's so much work you got to do. I'm telling you all right now. People will do this on purpose because they see something inside of you and they jealous of it and they want to crash it. They want to, well, what's the, how can I put this? And how can I say it? They want to snatch it away. They want to take it away. They want to discourage you the hardest that they can. That's why people are coming up against you. You got 20, 30, 40, 50 enemies coming up against one person trying to discourage you. Trying to make it seem like it's something wrong with you. But it's literally it's something wrong with them. It's literally something wrong with these people. Straight up. With some when somebody trying to discourage you out of jealousy and saying something about them. They want to break you in half. They want to break you apart. That's that's um discouraged. Because you're so full of courage. It eats them up alive. When they see you walk around here with your head held up high. That's how these people know. He tested for greatness. She tested for greatness. And they're talking out they slick mouth to their little brown arena, their little Barbie doll click. We need to, we need to break him. We need to break her. They doing too much. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They're taking up the whole doggone company. They're taking up the whole doggone building. We're going to try our very best to get rid of him. We're going to try our very best to get rid of her. We're going to try to cancel them. They're doing too much. They need to shut up. You'll be surprised what they're doing behind the scenes or what they're saying behind the scenes. These people are trying to discourage you. I'm telling you all right now, they're trying their very best because they don't want to see y'all make it out here. They don't want to see you become successful. They really don't. There's so many people out here that got counseled because, number one, they told the truth. Number two, that's the for greatness. Number three, they was a threat and a target. And when you destined for greatness, I'm telling you all right now, you're going to have some people, not all, but you're going to have some people going to try to come up against you because you got greatness inside of you. And these idiots need to know that greatness was placed inside of you when, you when you was inside your mama's stomach. As a matter of fact, before you came into your mama's stomach, you were destined for greatness. But when your mama gave birth to you, and put you here on this earth. You was destined as a great. I mean, excuse me. You were destined for greatness as a baby. Your parents knew. You were going to be something one day. And I guarantee you. Whatever you're doing in life right now. I bet your mom and daddy told you. They always knew you were going to be something in life. They always knew you were going to be part of the greatness clique. A.K.A. team. If you're playing basketball. Football. Rapping, singing, motivating people. 
Activating for men, ladies. They knew you were going to be something in life. Your grandparents even knew that. Your grandma, your granddaddy, they knew what you were going to be when you were coming up. That's why you had so many haters. That's why some of you were probably bullied in school because these people saw the greatness inside of you. People were trying to pick at you because you look a certain type of way. No, they look a certain type of way because they are insecure with their own selves. But people will try anything and say anything just to encourage you. But I'm telling you all right now, don't you get this courage for no doggone body out here. Who putting in the work? Huh? Who putting in the work? It sure ain't them. It's you, my friend. It is you. You the one that putting in the work. It's not them. If they were putting in the work, they won't be so busy trying to discourage you. Think about that. But people who try to sit up here and try to discourage other people, they the main ones that got to sit back here and try to make people give up on their dreams. Try to turn this guy into a freaking ceiling because ain't nothing going on with their lives. That ain't that pathetic. That is super. Let me do the cape. They need to put that cape on because they are being super pathetic out here. When you are destined for greatness, you're going to have these super petty people trying their very best to try to get inside of your head and try to say, mm -mm, you can't do that. And y'all know how them naysayers talk. Uh-uh, you can't do that. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody in this city, ain't nobody in this family ever did that, that, that. Don't listen to that. Listen. Don't you listen to it. It ain't nothing but Satan. Satan is talking to these people. This is why nobody in your city would never ever support you, ladies and gentlemen, because they know you're destined for greatness. And they know one day you're going to pack your bags up and leave. And it's going to happen. And these people are going to be so in shock. When I say they're going to be in shock, they're going to be in shock, man. I'm telling you. People ain't going to know what to do when you leave up out of their lives. But since day one, they knew you were destined for greatness. Ever since you was a little bitty baby. That's why all your life, people hating on you, jealous of you, envious of you, try to discourage you all they can. They literally tried it. But guess what? Guess what, my friends? You still rose above the critics. And look at this. Jesus himself had greatness. And he still rose. Just like you. They try to hold you down. Try to discourage you. But guess what? Guess what? You still was achieving greatness. You still was destined for greatness because it's not on you. Like the clothes you put on, the shoes that you wear, it's not on you. Like this shirt is on me. Like this tattoo is on me. But at the same time, it's inside of me. Faith is inside of me. Greatness is inside of you. It's inside of me. It's inside of you. And people want to try to kill that. People want to try to call themselves trying to take that away from you. But you cannot take away what God has given to this person or to these people. I don't care how hard they try. They cannot take it away from you, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know why? You was destined for greatness a long, long time ago. A long time ago. But I also want to say this too as well. When you destined for greatness, ain't no friends. That's straight up facts. Ain't no such thing as friends. Unless it be some strangers. But your childhood friends, let's get real. Ain't none of them ain't going to support you. All of them going to turn into haters. Every single last one of these people going to turn into haters. So he's my other to say, tell them bye-bye and tell them it was nice knowing them. Because you finna go to a path of greatness. Everybody now, excuse me, everybody's not going to be able to go with you to this path of greatness. Because you know why? Everybody don't want to see you happy out here. Everybody out here ain't doing what you are doing. Everybody not out here supporting you. Like I said, unless you pack your bags up and move to another city or another state. That's the only support you will, that's the only support you will get is from strangers. 
because they see the greatness inside of you, ladies and gentlemen. They see it. It takes a stranger to see it than your own close folks or your so-called friends. Now, ain't that something? But I also want to say this. If you is getting support from your family, good. That's good. But some of you out there that's watching this video, <clears throat> some of you is not getting that support. But guess what? You're still going to, you're still going to get that support because you know why? God is going to place you around some people that see the greatness inside of you. And he's going to make sure that greatness comes to reality. You vision it. You dreamed it. Now, guess what? You're going to turn it into reality because God is by your side. He put the greatness inside of you. So guess what? He's going to make it happen. Long as you're a man or a woman of your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say, I'm going to push my greatness out to the universe, go out there and show them people what you're working with. And show them. It wasn't given to me. I had to take it. And you had to go through a lot of battles, a lot of demons, a lot of everything to get to where you want to be at or where you're trying to get at. Well, let's take that out. Not trying because you will get there. But I'm telling you all right now, each and every last one of you that's watching this video, y'all is destined for greatness. So don't let nobody out here try to say you ain't going to be nothing in life. You can't get right. You can't. Don't listen to them people. Oh, you are late bloomer and all. Don't, don't listen to that. I don't care how late of a bloomer you is. You still going to make it in life. People who got their stuff together, guess what? They still suffering. Because they're not doing the things that you are doing. These people are not destined for greatness. None was so freaking ever. But you are though. And don't you ever forget that. But like I said, ain't no friends. When you're destined for greatness and you choose a path on your own, ain't no greatness. You might as well say goodbye to your friends. This is why they say it's lonely at the top. Yeah, I agree. It's lonely at the top. But guess what? As soon as you get to the top, you're going to start me at other winners. You're going to start me at other greatness. That means other people who got good tuitions. You're going to be a lot of people. That's willing to support you and show you some love. And I guarantee you, these same people that try to stop your shine, that try to get in your ear say, you ain't never going to do that. Mm -mm. You just talking. But guess what? You show them for them then. Action speak louder than words. When y'all say y'all going to do something, y'all going to do it. But at the same time, you ain't had to prove a point to these people. You ain't had to say nothing to these people. And you still got the job done. And that's how it's supposed to be. When God put a vision inside of you, when he put some greatness inside of you, work on it silently. Don't say nothing to nobody. Hush, be quiet, don't say nothing. You let the work and God do the rest. Let God do the talking and you do the working. Let's talk more work, ladies and gentlemen. Let your blessing speak. Let your greatness speak as well. Everything that you're doing in life, don't tell no freaking body. Ain't no, it ain't nobody's business out here but you and the Most High God. But give all your credit to God because He was there with you when all this stuff was going on. With people trying to discourage you, hating on you, trying to put you in plots, wicked plots, trying to throw dirt on your name. Trying to make it seem like you a bad person. Trying to ruin your image. Trying to mess up your reputation. Guess what? You're still going to rose above that. Trying to throw so much dirt on your reputation. They're trying their very best, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know you're destined for greatness. Somebody out here trying to slander your castination. I mean, excuse me. A lot of people out here trying to slander your reputation, trying to mess up your image because they see some greatness inside of you. But guess what? They ain't going to make them no better. People going to start looking at them like they stupid. But with you, though, I guarantee you, all them A-signs that I just named, 
It's so related to you that did it. But that was the video for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed that video. And I hope you all enjoyed me talking my smack on this video. <laughs> but yeah, that was the eight signs that you destined for greatness. And one more thing before I leave up out of here. Never forget, each and every last one of you that's watching this video, y'all was put here on this earth to do something. Some of you out here had dreams of meeting certain people in your sleep. Some of you had dreams of doing this and that. But guess what? Now you finna make it happen. Go out there and show the world what you're working with. And don't be ashamed. God's by your side. Remember, you all destined for greatness. I'll catch y'all on the next video. God bless y'all. Be safe out there. Peace.